Alright, this one's for all you guys who like that manga or Japanimation, that sort of thing. This is a novelty Linux distribution based on Ubuntu 10.4. And we're looking at Mangaka Mo version 4 today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, let's begin. We're looking at Mangaka Mo. That's version four. Now, apparently, they're going to be eventually releasing a new version, but it doesn't say when. This was released last year. This was a request that one of my viewers made. And this has GNOME 2, so you can enable comp is effects and that sort of thing. It probably has some enabled, but I'm running this as a live CD. This was a huge download, three and a half gigs. But at any rate, it's going, the Mangaka Nayu is going to uh, have a KDE on it. But we don't know when that is. So this could be a one man show. I have no idea on it, but when you look at their Linux, uh, Mangaka. Mo version 4. This was released um, last year. Now this is uh, for all of you anime fans. Mangaka Mo. That sounds like something mom used to make me eat when I was a little kid. You better eat your Mangaka Mo or else you won't get any dessert. Okay, it was a bad joke and I could have inserted a cartoon character there but I haven't been feeling well lately so. Oh well. At any rate, here it is, and uh, let's have a look and see what this brings to the table. First, we right-click on the desktop and select Change Desktop Background. You will see that there are a number of different uh, backgrounds to choose from. For all of you anime fans out there, I happen to like this one. I think that looks kind of cool. Let's go ahead and minimize that. That looks kind of cool, but actually they have some anime pictures and that sort of thing here. From for uh, all of you who like uh, Japanimation and that sort of thing. Uh, so it's kind of cool. Not a whole lot in terms of images. I was thinking, you know, with a three and a half gig download, that this would uh, include more. And the themes, well, there's not really a whole lot to choose from here. Pretty much the standard complement that you would get with any uh, regular uh, Linux based dis you know, uh, any kind of uh, Ubuntu based distribution, that sort of thing. I like the wallpaper though, that one kind of looks nice. Alright, and uh, it's got some features that you don't see standard on uh, very many Linux distributions. For instance, this uses the GNO menu. I used to use this before I switched to Cardapio, it's kind of neat. You can also skin it and theme it. There are a lot of themes online that you can get for this. This one is designed to re resemble in a way it's kind of reminiscent of uh, the Windows, um, uh, the Windows uh, Vista, in a way, kind of, sort of, you know. But let's go ahead and have a look at what you get with this. Uh, there are already some favorites pre-selected for you. You get Google Chrome Composer if you're building web pages, uh, Open Office Pinta Image Editor Screenlets. That's what this clock is right here. You get a terminal, Ultra Star Deluxe, and VLC Media Player. I think Ultra Star Deluxe is a game, if I'm not mistaken, under Applications. And Accessories, you get the uh, Calculator, Disk Usage Analyzer, uh, Get It, uh, GP Rename HJ Split, Manage Print Charms, Parcelite, PZip, Screenlets, Take Screenshot, Terminal, and VirtualBox OSC. Personally, I don't care for the open source edition. I'd much rather have the regular version that's on their website, but uh, to each their own, right? All right, and more applications and games. You get Alro Solitaire, Ardentris, uh, Renpy, which is a visual novel, uh, Road Fighter, Open Sonic, and Ultra Star Deluxe. In graphics, 
You get Picasa, Blender, Comics, GIMP, Inkscape, Ktune, Pinta Image Editor, Scribus, uh, Shotwell Photo Manager, Simple S Scan, Synfig Studio, Zara Extreme. Zara Extreme is a pretty neat program, by the way. In internet, you get a mule, check Gmail, uh, Emerson, Empathy, FileZilla, Firefox. I have to note though, the Firefox is a little bit outdated, so you definitely want to update that. It's using 3.5 uh, or 3.8 or something like that, I can't remember. Google Chrome, Google Earth, Mozilla Thunderbird, Opera, Skype, Toucan Manager, Views, and XChat IRC. In Office, you get OpenOffice.org and the bloated Adobe Reader 9. In Other, you get Bleachbit, one of my favorite programs, Root Terminal, set up GDM, and that is your login screen, obviously, and then you can set up Grub. In programming, that's the one thing I didn't like about this menu. <laughs> uh, you get the Android SDK. Great if you want to test Android applications before putting them on your Android phone. Very good one. You get the Bluefish Editor, Eclipse, Composer, and Python. In sound, <clears throat> come on. <laughs> This is one thing I did not like about the menu. You gotta physically click it and then you move the mouse the wrong way. Sound and video, you get Aegis Sub. Okay, you can create subtitles. Interesting. Audacious, Audacity, AVI Demux, DVD Rep, Enna, Gnome Baker, Gnormalize, GTK Pod, Japan TV, LXBD Player. Man DVD. You get uh, a Matroska video file creator, mobile media converter, Pativi video editor, Real Player 11, SM Player, VLC media player. In Universal Access, you get Onboard and Orca. Very good for people who have uh, vision defects and that sort of thing. Uh, this this really helps out a lot and then of course you get wine um, I, it doesn't look like they have any front ends for it and that sort of thing and then of course you can navigate your computer you can also uh, check out recent files uh, so there is a lot of stuff already pre-installed on this if you're looking for a distribution that ha that has uh, a bunch of programs and sort of that sort of thing. Does it bring anything new to the Linux table of interest? Not really. I've seen a lot of other distributions out there that offer a, a lot more than this, but are a smaller download. But the thing is, this is this is nice if you if you like the anime and that sort of thing. But you can also get a lot of this stuff, uh, a lot of the anime and that sort of thing, on. Uh, uh, Oh gosh, the name of that website's on the tip of my tongue. DeviantArt, there you go. And so you can go on DeviantArt and get a lot of stuff there. Um, uh, but as the requester had stated, uh, this is n an operating system that is not for everyone, but it does have GNOME 2, so if you like to use the Compiz and the special effects, you can use them there and that sort of thing. And uh, I just want to check something real quick here. Uh, let's go into the control center and see if it gives us uh, you get the synaptic package manager you get an update manager real quick I just want to see uh, what this is pulling off of And this may take a moment because my poor single core processor is being tasked. 
Okay, you must check updates manually. Your system does not automatically check for updates. Okay, we'll close it. And, um... When you're logged into the admin account, the password is Mangaka. Okay, and this is based on Ubuntu. That's what I wanted to check off of, and it looks like this is based on 10.04. So it is a little bit older. You do get the canonical. Uh, you do get the canonical and that sort of thing. You can also pull off of Get Deb if you activate it. It's not activated. You can get uh, Opera and uh, that sort of thing. Nothing really fancy, really, but um, but the thing is, uh, at least you have the uh, long-term, uh, you know, it's based off the uh, long-term, but the thing is, you know, um, maybe we'll see an update to Mangaka when it gets to KDE, and it's, who knows what it's going to be based off of, and that sort of thing. Okay. All right, and uh, it's saying package information was last updated 487 days ago. So it looks like this has been a little over a year since this has been released. Okay. All right, well, there you have it. It looks like a good Linux distribution, but it is a little outdated. My recommendation, if you want to try Mangaka, maybe we should wait until the next one comes out. But if you're dying to try this, uh, this would be a, a good one to use. The system requirements are not that heavy. The, uh, if I read correctly on the website, uh, they were recommending that this uh, uses a computer at 1.5 gigahertz with uh, 500 uh, something megs of RAM. So, uh, so this would be a good one to use on an older computer and that sort of thing. If you thought this was useful, please hit like and subscribe. Catch me on Facebook and Twitter. My next video, I'm going to review another Linux distribution which is based on Arch and it's a rolling release distribution. I can't wait to have a look at this because I've always been interested in trying Arch. I just had a little bit of difficulty with installing their uh, their uh, their uh, net uh, their uh, net install disk because it was broken but hopefully they fix that eventually I'd like to do that but I've still got to get one of these computers up and working I've uh, tried to build two of them and I couldn't uh, out of the two that I tried to build none of them seem to work yet but there's there's some gold in this pile I hope and uh, I'll get that going all right well that's all for now thanks for watching we'll see you next time